What's going on, Rob Mob? I have a problem for you from Unit 1B. Uh, it is a Lesson 5 problem. Uh, Perry's Pizza Parlor is known for having gigantic pizza pies. Their small pizza has a circumference of 10 pie inches. Their extra large pizza has a circumference of 20 pie inches. The area of the extra large pizza is how many times larger than the area of the small pizza? All right, so to do this problem, you're going to want to draw a couple of diagrams to help represent your different types of pizza, right? So I want to start off with two circles, one bigger than the other. This will be the small. This one will be my extra large. Oops. All right, and we know that the circumference on this pizza is 10 pi. And the circumference on this pizza is 20 pi, right? And so as we know, circumference equals 2 pi r. r stands for radius. So as many of you can probably identify, we need to find the radii for each, right? So c is 10 pi, so we know 10 pi equals 2 pi r. All right, so we can cross out the pi's here. We have 10 equals 2 r. And if we wanted to solve that, r equals 10 over 2, which equals 5. All right, so now we're going to repeat the steps for the other side over here, right? So we have 20 pi equals 2 pi r, cross out the pi's, 20 equals 2 r. So now we have r equals 20 over 2, which equals 10. So the radius of our small circle, our small pizza, that is going to be 5. And the radius for our extra large pizza, that is going to be 10. Now the question is asking us, the area of the extra large pizza is how many times larger than the area of the small? Now we have to find area, and as we know, area is pi r squared. So let's put that into these equations. Area equals pi r, which in this case is 5 squared, right? And that is going to be 5 squared is 25. So the area on this side is 25 pi. All right, so now we're looking for the area on the extra large pizza. That is going to be pi r, which in this case is 10 squared. So the area here is going to equal 100 pi. Now we're not done yet. Now we have to compare both sizes. We're going to find how many times larger the extra large is over the small, all right? So that is going to be 100 pi over 25 pi, right? And as you can see here, the pi's will cancel out. What we are left with is 100 over 25, which is 4 over 1. So we know that the E large is 4 times larger than the small. All right, there it is.